Welcome back to another episode of Julie and the Chuck, and let's do this. Okay, so we're back in the truck and we're going down the Pacific Coast Highway, which is the most beautiful part of the job, is to be working along the beach in Laguna Beach in Newport Beach. So we're lucky, but we're passing the um, beach right before um, North Laguna, which is right after Crystal Cove. Anyway, we're gonna head to a job that's located at a place called Camel Point, which has a little gate before you can get in. And it's funny because it's only one street long and it's um, probably has one, two, three, four, it's like 10 or 15 houses on it and that's it. But it comes out to a point, which obviously from the sky, it looks like a camel. <laughs> so, uh, and the house we're going to is at the tip of the Camel Point. So it has 360 degree views of the ocean and the mountains. So at nighttime, you can see the city lights and the ocean both directions, 180 degrees. It's pretty cool. Okay, we're back at Camel Point. We're gonna go through in the fabulous store, which will be restored, of course, by us at the very end of the job. This store is so heavy, oh my God. Okay, so in, anyway, we're in here. When we, when we were last in here, we weren't doing anything because we just started. And now we have samples because we're replacing a little wood floor. And then we haven't done any of the painting inside of the cleaning, but we did start painting outside. So what we have is uh, all the uh, beautiful view. But what we have is now the house looks like a construction site because we can't reach the windows without the uh, scaffolding. So we got scaffolding up where we need it on the windows. We're getting the outside refreshed first. Then we're gonna refresh all this concrete at the very end of the job, which is pretty cool. But you can see the windows are already refreshed and the new paint colors on them. It's pretty nice, but that's outside. And then inside, we got a lot to do. So you can see uh, we've already done things like the drywall patching. It's kind of fun. It's just little stuff, because every time you have a house that you actually live in, fingerprints, drywall patching, it's normal, it's got to be done. Some people have us do this every year around Christmas time or before the holidays, but you can see the little drywall patches all over the house. You know, just little things where there's dings and whatnot for bringing the groceries in, whatnot. And then you come through here to the back kitten kitchen, which is the butler's pantry. And uh, like I said, the, one of the next things we're doing is the, the grouting. And uh, then we have a bunch of work here. And there's Tara. <laughs> you don't have to run and hide. Anyway, and then we're doing a drywall patch in here. And then we had water damage, so there's gonna be repairs and that's what it is. It's happening in over there. So anyway, we're back at Camel Point. One last thing to look at is the outside. The good news is that nobody's living here while we're doing this. So we just get started and then we're gonna clean up and refresh all this concrete because modern homes have concrete, which is great, but concrete is porous like all other stone. So we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fill the cracks and polish it and look, make it look just like it was poured. So it's pretty cool. Concrete's a beautiful material to use. And then we just clean up the railings and wipe everything down and you know get everything and the final paint done and uh, and then they can have a brand new house restored, lovingly restored. Just like yearly maintenance, this has to be done on every house. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Julie and the Chuck, and we'll see you next time.